Hey, what's up guys, BossX7 here with another LMS2 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to add onboard audio uh, using an onboard audio script. So let's get started. So first off, go ahead and download the script in the description down below. There's a link to a Dropbox download. After you've done that, go ahead and locate your com.nolms3 coaster file and then go to your park file and paste the script into your park file. After that's done, go ahead and create your audio file that you want, whether it be music or your custom audio, and make sure you convert it to .ogg format. Now, anything else won't work because it's specific for No Limits, and that's the only thing that will work. So, it can't be MP3 or any of that. So, just make sure you find a converter or uh, maybe an editor. Go ahead and export it into .ogg. Once that's done, go ahead and copy the audio file into your park file and open up the script and copy the exact name of your audio file into this part of the script where it says insert your audio file name and that will basically identify the audio file as the audio that the script it wants to play for your coaster. So uh, once that's done, go ahead and close that out and save your script. Open up No Limits and go to your coaster. And once you once you've done that, let's go ahead and add one trigger to whatever you want the, wherever you want the audio to start. So right here on Thor, it's going to be in the front. So there's one trigger here, and the trigger is going to say Play Sound. So this is identified in the script as Play Sound with a capital S. And you guys can change this to whatever you want. It's just as long as you copy it exactly from the script to the game. So it can be just sound and you in the script edit it so so the trigger is named sound and in the game do the same thing and just make sure you copy it exactly all the way through and it should work perfectly fine now if you guys want to add uh, more than one more than one of these scripts go ahead and copy the script and then change the audio file for each one and then make sure you change the trigger name for each one too and you can add different triggers all over your track uh, for different sound effects and all kinds of cool stuff all right, I'll see you guys in a second here. I'm gonna go ahead and test this out and show you guys. Hey, what's up guys? I'm back in play mode and here we go. So this is where we put the trigger here. Now once the train passes the trigger, it will start the audio for all cars. So it's not just for one car. And make sure if you guys have like pretty complex audio that you that you time it up in the editor perfectly. So kind of get where you want, to, want the trigger to be. And when you edit it, get the timing right with the cuts and the audio and all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out. All right, as you can see, that was my own custom chain lift sound using the uh, audio script. So. Hopefully this tutorial helped you guys. If you guys have any questions on this, uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'll gladly answer them all. As well as if you guys have any suggestions for tutorials, don't forget to leave a comment down below. And if you guys liked the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.